Fitz Law asserts that the time it takes for a human to move a pointer to a target area, is a function of the target's distance divided by its size. As a result, the longer it takes, the greater the distance and the smaller the target. In user experience and user interface design, Fitz law is commonly used. This law, for example, impacted the practice of making interactive buttons big, because smaller buttons are more difficult to click. In the same way, the space between a user's task or attention area and the task-related button needs to be maintained to a minimum. Fitz's law is a human movement model developed by Paul Fitz in 1954, that can properly forecast the time it takes to travel to and pick a goal. Fitz's law is commonly applied to movement, via the graphical user interface using a cursor or other sort of pointer in human-computer interaction, although it was initially designed for movement in the physical world. Fitz's law has been mathematically defined in a variety of ways, but its predictions are constant throughout the many mathematical representations. Fitz's law argues, at its most basic level, that the larger and closer an item is to us, the simpler it will be for us to reach it. Isn't it very self-evident? The implementation of Fitz's law, however, is critical. According to recent research, placing the Add Cart button to the left-hand menu of a website can enhance sales conversions. This resulted in a 34% boost in sales. The goal of user interface design should be to shorten the space between points, and make the target object big enough to allow for quick detection and selection of interactive components without losing precision. One facet of this is ensuring that users may perform the given action by clicking anywhere on an interactive element. Let's discuss the applicability of this law. In user experience and user interface design, Fitz law is commonly used. This law, for example, impacted the practice of making interactive buttons big since smaller buttons are more difficult to click. The concept is that the faster you can get to a target object, the more handy and simple it is to utilize. One of the most essential takeaways from Fitz's law is that, while a larger target is obviously simpler to click on, it isn't always the best. In the Fitz's law concept, larger goods aren't necessarily better than smaller ones. The usage in interface design the size of the target and its distance from the user's present position are two factors that might influence the user experience. Larger targets simplify interaction while also allowing you to squeeze the most pixels out of your interface. Some websites, for example, do not expand a button or link's clickable area to the whole destination. As a result, moving the cursor to the appropriate link requires more accuracy, resulting in longer navigation times. According to Fitz's law, every available pixel should be used to widen the clickable region, making it a larger target to click. In graphical displays, Fitz's law is used to develop interactive devices. The time it takes to make a selection lowers as the size of the item grows larger, and as the distance between the user's starting point and the object shrinks, so does the time it takes to make the selection. As a result, when items are utilized in the same sequence chain, designers should try to make them as similar as possible. They should also aim to make the screen's interactive features as large as possible given the available area. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and share. Also, do subscribe to the channel.